Hey everyone, AD Gaming here and in today's video I'm gonna tell you which are the worst weapons in War Robots WR and there are 10. The worst weapons that don't even don't even think about running them, especially in high level champion league. So let yeah, let's start off before I'm gonna tell you the weapons guys if you are new to the channel do not forget to smash the like subscribe to the channel also click the bell icon so that way you will know when i'm releasing new robots content and stuff like that so without further ado let's just start so the first one is the spiral this is what they said missile system which fires a volume of free homing missiles that overcome most obstacles the thing is it's not doing a lot of damage the reload time is 12 seconds it's a lot in War Robots, especially in high level Champion League. It's 600 meter edge gun. But like I said, even at max level category, it's not doing enough damage. The f and especially in the current meta, many, many people, they tend to run uh, uh, p uh, robots with shields, physical shields, and even uh, uh, Ancel shield, edge shield. And the Titans, it's not even... It's like the, it's zero damage for a titan. So the spiral is one of the worst weapons in robots. Do not even think to use it. If you are a starter uh, player, maybe, but change it right away if you can. So, okay. The first one is the spiral. The second one is the pin. The pin. Medium range rocket launcher. Rocket steel damage over a large area. Effective against group of enemies and robots with physical shield. It's not so effective, guys. Because... It has low ammo, first of all. The fire rate is really horrible. And the damage output is even much worse. So, it's 500 meter range, it's true. But like I said, the rate of fire is really horrible. The reload time is so long. And it's not doing enough damage. Very simple, guys. This is the pin. It's just not belongs to the, high, especially high level champion league. Do not even think to use the pin. So this is the second uh, weapons, okay? So very important, guys. The the order is not at the from ten to one. So it's a random. I, I picked it as a random uh, order, okay? It, so it doesn't mean that the pin is the the number eight in the list. That's the thing. I'm just telling you which are the worst weapons in the game. It doesn't it doesn't matter if the pin is number ten or number one. Very important. Okay, let's go. So, an another weapon you should not even think to run is the Noricom, guys. It's the Noricom. Uh, the range is more than 1000 meter range, but it just. It's one of the worst weapons for sure. 15 second reload, it's not doing enough damage, and most of the enemies, the most of the players, they are running fast moving targets. It's a fast-paced gameplay. It's not like it was before a long time ago. Maybe the Oracle in five, six, six years ago, some people they they were running it, but today nobody, nobody is running the Oracle because it's simply it doesn't belong to the game. And even from 300, 300, 300 meter range, you cannot even hit enemies with this thing. And 300 meter range is usually the range that you are fighting against uh, your enemies, especially high level Champion League. So the Noriko, if you are a newer player, even if you are a newer player, very important, do not even think to level up the Noriko. This is going to be a waste of time, a waste of silver. And yeah, this is the third pick, the third weapon that you should not even think to run in the game. And this is one of the worst weapons in the game. Next one is the Orkan. The Orkan, guys, it used to be one of the top weapons in the game. It used to be one of the favorite choice for most of the high-level Champion League players, Legend players, Legend League players. They used to they used to run this weapon a lot. I personally, I used to run this on the Spectre four times on the Spectre. This thing used to be one of the devastating and overpowered weapons in the game. But right now, 2022, War Robots 2022. The Orkan is one of the worst weapons in the game. Yeah, it is true. So, this a clone range rocket launcher, impressive rate of fire and increased ammo capacity lets you unleash a whole storm of rockets on enemies. The thing is, it's not a storm of rockets anymore because 
The reload time, first of all, is really horrible. It doesn't have, it doesn't have, in, in, have, it doesn't have enough rockets to unleash the storm of rockets. That's the thing. And the damage is not it. Even if you're stacked, you're using nuclear amplifier and all the stuff. And I tried, guys. I tried to run it. I uh, recently, I believe, I released a video with the Orkan Leech. It's not it, guys. It's not it. This weapon, the Orkan, do not use the Orkan. If you're a new player, even. There are much better options than the Orkan, and yeah, the Orkan is one of the worst weapons in the game. Wow, what an irony, guys. This It used to be one of the top weapons, and now it's one of the worst weapons in the game. Okay, so let's go. Next one, we have the Hydra. The Hydra is another weapon that I did, I'm not recommending you to use, because it's, a, it's true that you can hit enemies from... If they are hiding and stuff, but the reload time is really a problematic thing. That's the main reason why this weapon is not so good. And we have Orbital Strike, so you can simply use Orbital Strike and shoot the enemies from uh, if they are hiding. That's the thing. And like I said, another reason, like I said before, it's a fast-paced uh, gameplay. The Hydra is it's not it, it doesn't belong. To the war robots right now to the meta to the especially high level champion league and also especially if you are a newer player do not invest your resources on getting the hydra not even think to get the hydra 1500 gold it's not worth it guys it's not worth it you better get uh i don't know something else with this gold with this amount of gold you can get better stuff for sure so do not think to use the hydra okay so next up what do we have we have the tolombas same thing I said about the pin, same thing about the Tolombas, copy paste, very simple. It's also a rocket launcher weapon, but it used to be also one of the one of the best weapons. Believe it or not, the, the people, players, they used to run it on the Spectre, on the Polkasari. It used to be well, a good weapon, but right now as the meta has shifted, there are more fast moving targets, more shields, HS shield, and also there is uh, Ensign shield. Uh, it's true that you can use it uh, versus a physical shield, but there is the, also the drone that you, they can... The Nebula drone. If somebody is using the Nebula drone, for example, and you are doing all the damage with the Tolombas, you are running empty, they are, you can find out that simply they are regenerating their health. There is healing module and the reload time is 18 seconds. That's, that's, that's the main thing why the Tolombas is not... Is, it is not belong to the game. This is another... This is another weapon that I'm, I'm, I would not recommend you to use and to level up. It's true that it's a silver weapon, but there are much better options. For example, the Punisher, it's a silver weapon and it's much better than the Tulumbas. Okay. Okay, what do we have next? The Peniata. So, like the Orkan, it's the same thing, <laughs> even much worse than the Orkan, the Peniata. It's much worse than the Orkan. It has low, much lower capacity rockets. And it does less damage than the Orkan, and the reload time is so long. So, what I said about the Orkan, the same thing about the Pinata. It is not it. it. This weapon, it's not good at all. There are much better op options than the Pinata on the workshop, also. So, do not get the Pinata. Okay. There is uh, another weapon <laughs> I need to tell you about him, also. The Arbalest, guys. So. It used to be on the workshop, they ch then they changed it to gold. Now you can buy it with one million silver. And it, I'm not surprised because this is one of the worst one of the worst weapons in the game. It's the light version of the trebuchet, but the, it should that they buffed it uh, uh, a few updates ago. But it's not it, guys. It's not it. It is not belong. To the game the, the arbalas it's not it it's not doing enough damage and the reload time is it's okay but it's not doing enough damage guys the damage output is really low and like i said it's a fast paced gameplay usually high level champion league especially this weapon is you cannot use this weapon so now we are gonna jump into the heavy heavy section the heavy weapons so there are only, you will be surprised to hear that there are only two here. And I will tell you which are they. So the first one is the Chimera. The Chimera, yeah, like the Hydra. The reload time is 12 seconds. The damage output 
is okay, but the main thing is the reload time. The reload time it's it's so lo long, and this is what makes this weapon to be so horrible, especially on high level champion league. There are shields also, age shield, physical shield, absorber shield. Many people, many players, they have robots with uh, shields, and the titans you cannot do it. You, you cannot. It's like zero damage to a titan even. Even if you're using extra damage, extra modules, it is not worth it, guys. There are much better options than the Chimera. Do not use the Chimera. It's one of the worst weapons for sure. Okay. So this is the first one from the heavy version, heavy weapons. And the last one, this is going to be the last weapon. This is going to be, and I'm pretty sure most of you, you, you know what I'm going to say right now. Pretty sure most of you are going to, you know. That I'm talking about the Zenith. The Zenith is the last weapon. It's the last is also probably the worst one of the worst weapons in the game. I'm not sure if it's the worst from this list, but this is one of the worst weapons in this game for sure. Like the Noricom. It's true that it's much better than the Noricom, but it's 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 not accurate. The range is it's, it has a good range. The reload time is 15 seconds. It's a lot. It's a decade in War Boots, guys. Especially high level champion league. Usually players they are running weapons with uh, with a fast reload time. This thing has 15 second reload. It's not doing enough damage. And even if the enemies they are getting close to you, less than 300 meter range, you cannot even shoot at them. So it's like they can shoot and they can get free damage basically, free silver. If they, if they see you running this thing. You are going to be the first victim in the battlefield for sure. It doesn't matter which league you are at. Silver League, Bronze League. Do not ever think to run this weapon, the Zenith, for sure. It is one of the worst weapons in the game. So, okay guys. The 10 worst weapons in the game, Warbots 2022. But you know what? The Orkan used to be a good weapon. And the Tolombas and even the Hydra. So not all of them, they used to be horrible from the beginning. Uh, most of them, they were, were horrible from the beginning. But uh, some of them, they used to be uh, good weapons. That's the thing. That's the, that's the funny stuff. But right now, these are the worst weapons in the game. If you are a new player and you are watching this video, I hope you are, I'm sa I saved you some time and effort. Uh, do not get this weapon. Do not get this weapon. And recently I released a video, the robots that you should not get from the workshop and also the weapons that you should not get from the workshop. So you know what you should get. So I, t I just told you what you should not get and also you should not level up even if you want to be successful in the game. So you need to pay attention and watch my videos closely when I, when I'm releasing on a regular basis. Usually I'm running the the stuff that helping you to be successful in high level champion league especially as a high level champion league player I can help you and I can guide you to to pre to also to prevent you to doing mistake that personally I did and choices that I, bad choices that I did and yeah I hope I help you if you find this video interesting do not forget to hit the like Subscribe to the channel and also click the bell icon so you won't miss any future content I'm releasing on this channel. And another way to get news and to stay updated in regards to Warbot is to join my Discord server. The link in the description below. Join the good business family and get news about everything regarding Warbots like I said before. Link in the description below. And until next time, have a good day. Slash night.